Coxon was born in Rintelm, West Germany, where his father Bob Coxon was stationed as a clarinet player and band leader in the British Army. As a child he moved first to Spondon Derby, England, a period during which he became a fan of Derby County. He then moved to Colchester, Essex, England, where he grew up and met fellow Blur member Damon Albarn at the Stanway School, then known as Stanway Comprehensive at the age of 11. At the beginning of their relationship Coxon would play the saxophone on Albarn's original songs before playing the guitar in several small Colchester bands. He appeared on the popular BBC children's show Blue Peter twice. Blur, Coxon studied fine arts at Goldsmiths College London for two years, where early on he met bassist Alex James. In his time there he mixed with upcoming talents such as Damien Hirst, Michael Landy, Sam Taylor Wood and Abigail Lane, some of the future leading lights of the Britert movement. His musical interests were heavily influenced by Pink Floyd founder, Sid Barrett whose work he had discovered by 1986. He quit college due to the increasing success of his band at the time Seymour, which later changed its name to Blur because the recording company Food Records thought Seymour was too student-ish. They presented a list to the band of preferred names which included The Shining Path and Blur, as well as providing all guitars, backing vocals and occasional drums, Coxon's lo-fi and alternative musical style and tastes influenced the band's less commercial music in the late 1990s. During the 1995 period of the media-dubbed Battle of Britpop, Coxon became increasingly weary and suspicious of the music industry. His behavior was occasionally awkward, such as refusing to appear in the video for Blur song Country House unless he could dress as a milkman and take no part in any action with which he felt uncomfortable. In November 2001 Coxon was admitted to the Priory Hospital for 28 days to be treated for alcoholism. During this time Blur began the recording sessions that would produce the material for their next album Think Tank. In February 2002 Coxon rejoined the band in the studio for the rest of the recording of Think Tank, but after five days was asked by then-manager Chris Morrison not to go back into the studio, as the other members of the band had reported that the session was not going too well with him present. Coxon took this as a sign and left the band. As he stated in an interview in 2006, I had a breakthrough. I think my life just became calmer. I gave up drinking. My priorities changed as I had a young daughter. The group didn't want me to record for the Think Tank album, so I took it as a sign to leave. His last contribution to Blur was a song called Battery in Your Leg, the closing song on Blur's 2003 album Think Tank before leaving the lineup, Damon Albarn later revealed that the song Sweet Song was written after he had been looking at a photograph of Coxon. After Damon Albarn's revealing that he and Coxon had rebuilt their relationship on the 9th of December 2008, Blur announced that the whole band would reunite for a show at Hyde Park on the 3rd of July 2009. More dates were announced and the band played festival dates at Glastonbury, Tea in the Park and Oxygen 2009, as well as headlining shows in Manchester, Newcastle, Wolverhampton, Goldsmiths College, and the East Anglian Railway Museum in Colchester. Blur also played one show in Lyon, France. On the 17th of April 2010, the band released their first single since 2003 Fool's Day for the Record Store Day event as a 7-inch limited to 1,000 copies. The band released the single as a free download on their official website the next day. More recently Blur announced via the NME website that they would reunite every so often and record more singles, preferably on 7-inch. However Damon also stated that an album was not on its way as they were all too busy with their own individual projects. On the 19th of February 2015 Coxon and the band announced on social media that they would be releasing their 8th studio album on the 27th of April. Titled The Magic Whip Blur's first album in 12 years and first in 16 years in their original lineup. Coxon had already released three solo albums, while a member of Blur before his 2002 departure, his first The Sky Is Too High was released on his own Transcopic label in 1998. This was followed by The Golden D in 2000, and Crow Sit on Blood Tree in 2001. After going solo full-time he released The Kiss of Morning in 2002. The album was promoted with the single Escape Song. In 2004, Coxon released his fifth solo album Happiness in magazines produced by ex-Blur and the Smiths producer Stephen Street. 
This proved to be his most successful album to date, and he received the Enemy Award for Best Solo Artist in 2005. In October 2006 Coxon released a double live album Burnt to Bits at the Astoria immediately after his sold-out London Astoria show. The album features 27 songs with at least one song from each of his albums. In July 2007 Coxon released a single with Paul Weller called This Old Town. The single peaked at number 39 in the UK singles chart. In 2021 Coxon published Superstate, a graphic novel accompanied by a studio album of the same name bringing the concept of a dystopian futuristic universe. The cover art much like most of his solo works, was illustrated by himself. Following in 2023 the folk rock band The Wave consisting of Graham Coxon and Rose Eleanor Dougal as members, released their debut self-titled album with an England-wide tour. Coxon's independent label Transcopic was co-managed with his friend, and then business partner Jamie Davis. Davis now runs independent label Arc Recordings. Coxon illustrated and designed all of his own album art and collaborated with his friend Nick Kraske creating abstract digital work for the release of The Spinning Top. They also filmed two music videos, Sorrow's Army and In the Morning. Coxon also continued painting a series of personal work, most of which remained unseen until 2004, when he exhibited at the ICA in London. Coxon has also been involved in remixing other people's tracks including Idle Wild and Logalt, both of which were released as B-sides, and the latter remix was later re-released on the band's anthology release, Keep Music Miserable. In September 2006 Coxon revealed a musical soundscape English Shoes Squeak, created especially for Verheaven an exhibition at London's Riflemaker Gallery of the work of artist Julie Verhoeven. In February 2019 Coxon became involved with the writing process of the Duran Duran album Future Past, which reached number 3 on the UK album charts, and number 1 on the UK independent charts.